Hare Krishna everyone, Mila here and welcome to my channel where we discuss spiritual topics from India. Today we will hear the story about one of the oldest temples in Sri Vrindavan Dam and that is Radha Govinda Temple. The deity of Sri Radha Govinda was established by Srila Rupa Goswami who was ordered by Lord Chaitanya to excavate all the lost holy places of Vrindavan. 5000 years earlier, Lord Krishna's grandson Vajranaba installed a number of important deities in Vrindavan and Govindaji was one of those deities. Many months passed by and Sri Rupa Goswami was not able to find the deity so one day he went on the banks of Yamunaji and he cried profusely shouting loud Hey Chaitanya! Hey Chaitanya! And then all of a sudden a beautiful boy, Vrijbasi boy, appeared in front of him who was actually Lord Sri Krishna in disguise of that boy and asked Rupa Goswami why he is crying. He explained the situation to the boy and the boy said, Oh, you know, on that nearby hill there is a cow that comes every day and lets her milk into a hole in that um, hill. So I think there must be something special. Why don't you come with me? I show you where that place is and then we can find out why that cow behaves in that way. So Rupa Goswami, uh, the boy took Rupa Goswami to that place and then when Sri Rupa Goswami looked down the hole that was drenched with milk, all of a sudden ecstatic symptoms overwhelmed him and he fell unconscious. And when he regained consciousness, he asked the local people to help him excavate that hole, dig the hole, and they after digging the hole, they found the beautiful, beautiful Murti of Sri Radha Govindaji. So under the year of 1570, the construction of the temple began under the guidance of Raghunath Bhatta Goswami and his disciples, headed by Raj Man Singh from Jayapur. They constructed a beautiful seven-story temple that was covered with gold, silver and marble. And it is said that the main hole down was a huge lotus flower that was weighing several tons. So, 100 years later, the notorious Aurangzeb was in Agra in his palace and one night he came out on the, on the balcony and he saw in the distance like huge building with light on the top and he asked his servants, what is this? And they told him, oh, this is uh, the famous Radha Govinda temple in Vrindavan and they have every night a big lamp burning on the top of the temple. And he got furious. He was so furious that actually he was saying, how dare they have bigger temple than my palace. So he ordered this, the destruction of the temple. So before his army could reach Vrindavan, the Vrijbasis took the Radha Govinda and the other deities and they hid them in Rajasthan. So the army of Aurangzeb destroyed this temple. They demolished the, uh, the upper four floors. So nowadays from the seven story uh, temple, only three are remaining. And of course they stole all the gold and marble and silver and everything. Shishi Radha Govinda Ji Ki Jai Shishi Vrindavan Tam Ki Jai Shlo Prabhupada Jai So at the end of this video, I would like to read one poem from my book. I think the sun knows that I have dedicated to Sri Vrindavan Dam. Poems escape from falling stars and like rain make their way to you. They were written long before this earth learned to speak and humans to read. I want to write something in your praise too something tiny from the garden of my heart. But all I do is sob and little flowers start growing on the blank page. And see you soon with a new video about Sri Vrindavan Dam. Thank you very much. Radhe Radhe. Hare Krishna.